What's up, people? As you can tell by the title of the video, we are about to rip off this bumper. Take away the crash bar. My guess is it weighs somewhere between 10 and 15 pounds. Easy, uh, easy mod to get rid of weight. It's free. And, uh, I mean, the crash bar is really only there for, like, low speed impacts, like 5, 10 mile an hour, whatever. Um, I don't know how much this car even really be street driven, like, around here at least. I might go to, like, cities for, like, streetcar takeover and events and stuff. Of course, I'm going to drive the car around all, a whole bunch, but I'm not really too concerned. We're trying to shave weight, turn this thing into a race car. But uh, before we do that, go over this real quick. I just cleaned up these trailing arms and these bushings. Uh, got a buyer for these, so sh these should be going out soon. Um, Verkline just came out with their new rear adjustable arms, like I was telling you guys about, and I should have waited for. And they want to shoot me a little discount since I did a little video with all the other stuff. So these are going to be sold. So I'll take like 50 bucks off or so from how much they they run from Verkline, but I mean it's an OEM arm with with their bushings, but uh. Yeah, if you guys want these, uh, look them up on the site, drop me an offer, let me know, and I'll get these out to you. Um, yeah, anyway, I don't even know where to start. I haven't looked up a video on how to take this bumper off or anything. I have no idea what's going on here. I haven't stepped into my car in forever. Man, and before anyone says anything, oh, you're going to ruin your car, blah, blah, blah. Listen, guys, we got a tubular subframe. Hanging on here. The NVH from this alone is just going to be insane. I mean, I still need to get some dry ice and get rid of this sound deadening. But, I mean, we're going to be cruising in some Kirkies and almost completely gutted car. So, well, at least the back half is. Uh, I'm getting here. We'll pop the hatch. And we'll see what we got to do here. So before I actually try and look this up on YouTube, it looks like there's a couple of these brackets that use some really small torques there you can see and then there's one there, one there, and another one over there. And you got the regular uh, like torques that they use on the bumper right here. So I'm going to pop those babies out and see what we can figure out. Looks like there's some type of sensor to unplug right here. Um, doesn't look like there's anything over there, so we'll see. We'll zip some things off and see how we go. Like I said, I really don't know what I'm doing, but if it's anything like the front bumper. Oh boy. I was hoping there's no, like I don't got to take the light out here. Scary. It's probably on the other side. I hate doing this. Ugh. Oh boy. Is the whole thing coming off like that? Pull the seal off. It doesn't look like there's any screws. You just gotta pull it out, and to get into that area, it's gonna be. Okay, this will be interesting. After some further investigation, and this thing is probably never gonna focus right, especially with the sunlight. Oh yeah, okay. You guys see that clip right there? And get in there and just lift that baby up. It's hard to do with one hand, but pop that baby up. And that little tab and it, it pokes right out so show you guys here oh I can barely even see it I'll do this pop that up just gave a little, little tug here at least on the other side it popped right out so I'm a dummy and I'll show you what I did wrong I was Pressing the wrong tab on this one because the damn sun's in my eyes. <laughs> I couldn't see it was the uh, the wrong one, but I think now I should be able to do that. Oh boy. Okay, let's move the camera back. <laughs> Interesting. 
There really ain't much that holds this bumper on, I suppose. Yep, just that one connector. All right. Well, you guys want to see what the inside of the bumper looks like? It looks like there's some sound deadening up there. Can you see that? Boom. Sound deadening there. Sound deadening there. Other than that, you got this one connection on the passenger side, uh, which powers the the lights. So that's what that is. Way easy. Nice. Let's get a look under here. Whoa, brother! Let's not do that. Well, this is too easy. Four bolts on each. Boom, boom. Oh, no. Not even four on that one. Three on this one. Skimped out on this there. Hmm, maybe 15 pounds. Maybe. The sways, you know, probably like two pounds, actually. Yep. Things tough. All right, well, let's get these babies off. These bad boys just slip on out. Should probably... Maybe leave that one in the thread. Hanging on by one. Oh yeah, that's a decent amount of weight. Let's go get on the skate. Ah. All right, let's see at the scale here. You guys can't see the scale. I guess I should scale in. We'll go turn her on. One of my way in today. 144 on the dot. So 144. We're set. Twenty point six pounds. So, boom, more than what I thought. Hell yeah! All right, let's see how much pain this is going to be to put back in. Probably should be very easy. Probably should leave it off. I don't want to cut holes in it, but we'll see. Not bad. Pop the seal in, put what the five or six, one, two, three, four, five, six screws. That's not, that's not bad at all. Now I know what I'm looking for. I could have this thing off and on in a pretty good amount of time. And eventually here I'm gonna get some templates or whatever, probably around this area to let air through the bumper. And eventually the bumper will probably be cut right around, along this line. And then uh, an exhaust coming through somewhere. I don't know. But once all the arrow gets, once we get to that stage, all the arrow, we'll have to cut holes in the bumper and all that shit. But eventually, you boys got dreams. We're dreaming big over here. Let's make this shit happen. Uh, I probably should have put the seal on before the bumper. Anyway, simple stuff. Well, uh, that's how you delete your crash bar and remove your bumper. Follow me for more terrible tips on uh, how to make your car more unsafe. <laughs> I'm just playing. Should be all right. I think she'll be okay. Man. So this video, well, today, oh shit, we're all blown out here. I got the engine internals today, which you guys will see in a video after this, but I am pumped. This shit looks so good. The pistons are so nice looking. The valve springs and the ARP studs. Oh! Y'all, stay tuned for that. Um, I guess by the time you're seeing this, yesterday, ShopDap dropped the video of the trans getting um, torn apart and stuff. Obviously, I haven't seen it yet. Today's Tuesday. Video comes out Wednesday. This video comes out Thursday. So I'll drop that link down below. Make sure you guys go check out ShopDap. 
um, their YouTube channel. Subscribe there. They also got a podcast. Subscribe to that too. Um, yeah, shop that's just a shit. Shout out to Paul. Um, also, I said all the hardware for the rear end I got from Shop That will be here Friday so we can get this rear end in. And then uh, if anybody knows anybody that needs a rear crash bar, a rear subframe, a front subframe, front control arms, I also have a Turbo Smart ball valve, and uh, I don't know, a couple other random things. Got shit to sell. I need money. I'm actually thinking about selling the Remus exhaust. I really don't want to do that, but it's worth a lot of money and it weighs a lot. I don't know. Still on the edge. I paid quite a bit of money for that thing and it sounds amazing. So, Ooh, we'll see. I really don't want to have to sell it, but if it comes down, push the shove, I, I need to get a transmission and this motor needs to be built. So, we'll see. Thanks again for watching, guys. Any questions, comments, hopefully, no concerns. <laughs> Drop them down below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip flop. I guess there's a little bonus here. We're gonna weigh the cat back, just in case. I'm very curious on what it weighs. If I need to sell it, um, I might have to. We'll see. But, huh, but this is like good. Mm, 55 pounds, maybe. Yeah, 45. I'm going for 45. Okay, I'll hop on here, give myself away. Literally just walked in the door from work, so. 147.3. Grab this here, cat back. Let's say 147. So a little under 40 pounds, 37 pounds. Not bad. That was close. Easy weight loss. Anyway, another one of these, uh, you're the real MVPs if you stayed. Appreciate it, guys. Um, this is the next day. Like, that shit was yesterday, obviously. And the trans video came out today. If you haven't seen it yet, you gotta watch it. Um, it's only been maybe like six hours since the video came out. Tons of comments. Tons of views. I, the, the channel here, which I'm sure some of you guys have already seen it, have came since then. The channel jumped like 50 subscribers already, which is super dope. So once again, shout out to Paul and the guys that were at Shop That. That video was freaking hilarious. Um, it's a little sad because, well, obviously the transmission's totally effed. But uh, we'll make do. I'm gonna try uh, the. the Transmissions over in, in, in the UK and like Germany and shit, they're much cheaper than what they are here. So I'm gonna try and maybe buy two, ship two over, run one, sell one, or run one and build one, or build one, sell one, whatever. I don't, I don't know. That right now seems like the best idea unless I can find somebody that has a built trans that wants to sell it for a decent price. So if you guys know anybody or know any leads on a Mark 7 all wheel drive trans, let a brother know. Feel free to shoot me a DM or whatever. Um, yeah. We'll just, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.